Facebook as well. We've got a whole bunch of people joining us from all across the planet, from mainland across the pond here and across the bigger pond in England and from all over the world. So whether you're watching this live or whether you're watching the replay, you will get all of the energies that are flowing through right now. So um, we're going to just jump right in here. I'm just going to jump right in here. I'm going to ask those on the phone to mute your microphone, please. <laughs> Unless, Sue, you want to give me some guidance if there's something you think I need to say. And um, we're actually just going to jump right in here because I know all of you have been in a state of quarantine or isolation in some way, shape, or form. And this is the type of quiet that we're normally actively trying to seek and what we normally actively promote here at the Vortex Healing Center, where we are in a very isolated place and it is something that we choose to do and people come because they choose to be isolated. So it's an unbelievable opportunity that so many people, whether it was their choice or not, are able to try to experience this sense of isolation without feeling alone. And so we ask you right now to take a few long, slow, deep, powerful breaths. We're going to begin the combined breath, connecting deep into the center of the earth, bring it up through the soles of the feet and up into the higher heart. A few long, slow, deep, powerful breaths. And I invite you now to connect deep into the center of the, earth, of the universe, connecting to Father God energy, bringing it down through the crown of the head and into the higher heart. A few long, slow, deep, powerful breaths. And now I invite you to take a combined breath, connecting deep in the center of the earth and the center of the universe, bringing the bright white golden light into the higher heart. A few long, slow, deep, powerful breaths. Allow this bright white light to light up any of the darkness in your mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual bodies. Allow the light to open up any of the darker shades, all of the shades of gray in your body. Accepting your body for what it is. Accepting the world for what it is. Accepting your life for what it is. Accepting your relationships for what they are. And simply allow. Allow the energy to be. The earth has gone quiet and has asked for no movement, something that would have been incomprehensible just a few months ago. But we ask you as well to accept this quiet. To allow this as a special time to receive. To stop trying to do and fix 
and allow yourself to open totally and completely to all the energies as they're flowing through. Allow your ability to receive, to expand exponentially, to receive more love, to receive more light, opening up every cell of your being and allowing for the DNA to be wide open to accept all that is for your highest good. We ask you to take this time now to use your intention and your awareness to open up every cell of your being to receive. Receive the flow of light and love. I will call for you shortly. As you are aware of how many different places from far, far away are sending. Allow yourself in this open state to send as well, receiving the codes and sending out your light and love in this intricate web that flows above the earth and below the earth. This intricate web of light and love that connects all things. Allow this wider channel that you can now receive by. Allow yourself to now send out a giant wave of love and light.
We've all chosen to be here at this time. On this planet, on this earth. You could now set the intention that it becomes even easier. Even easier to allow all the love and the light to flow. Imagine what those worlds would look like. Hold that energy of love and light flowing with increasing ease. Allowing each of you to be a giant beacon of love and light. As you receive, so shall you send. Allow yourself to receive more. And so it is. I see Kiri's here. Unfortunately, I can't see who else is on the call on the Facebook Live. But I invite all of you to practice receiving, for that is the key that has been given to me today on how you can send more love and light. You have to receive more. So practice receiving. Have a great day. I'd love to have you leave your comments below, and we'll check in with you later.